Ryan Sheckler has been skateboarding since he was just 18 months old, riding his way into lucrative endorsement deals by the time he was eight. Now at the ripe old age of 25, he's a multimillionaire. Tonight, our Rachel Smith is there as he prepares to head back to the X Games for the 15th time. And she's even getting a little lesson along the way. At first glance, Ryan Sheckler may look like your stereotypical skater die punk. He's going fast. The child prodigy started skating as a toddler. Going pro at just 13. He's going to be the X Games gold medalist, the youngest ever at 13 years old. Now 25. Oh my God! He's a skateboarding legend. Skateboarding to me is pure freedom. I get on my board and I don't have to skate like anyone else. I don't have to try the tricks anyone else is trying. I can clear my head and just skate my game. Over a decade-long career, this skating wonder has secured millions in endorsement deals from GoPro to Red Bull. What's up, Nightline? I'm Ryan Sheckler. We are here at X Games in Austin, Texas, and I'm going to show you guys around. But even with all that fandom, money, and medals, Sheckler still isn't satisfied. He lives for the competition. I love going out to a contest and giving the fans what they want to see. Today, he's in Austin, Texas, getting ready to compete at the X Games for an impressive 15th time. For Ryan, winning is an even greater obsession now than it was at the beginning. You know, I want it. I want it, and so does everybody else here. With so many younger competitors at his heels, he wants to prove that he's still at the top of the skating game. I'm impressed with the, the youth that's coming up, and it's fun skating with them, because. They still have rubber band legs, you know, and they can take hard slams and get right back up and go. So, yeah. you know, I envy them in a way. That didn't sound good. But if you fall like really wrong, you can get really hurt. And that's just the risk you take. But when you do land it and roll away, it's that adrenaline starts pumping. He wants to start this X Games run with this extreme trick off the roof, but hasn't been able to nail it consistently. You know, I get the chills thinking about it. Like, I just want to land and have that feeling crowd will go crazy and then you just do the rest of the run. Years of having his body pounding against cement has taken a toll. He's broken his elbows 10 times. People don't know how much willpower that takes to fall really hard and to get back up and try it again. It's, it teaches your brain how to never give up. And that's part of the preparation for this. It comes down to those moments in the contest where you know that you have to put all of yourself into this one last trick and maybe you're gonna get it and land and win, and maybe you're not gonna get it. And that's the risk you take, and that's that's where it's like exciting to me. I visualize all my tricks. Like I'll just sit there with my eyes closed and just visualize over and over the body position, the landing, how I want to do it, like how I want it to look to the people, you know. Yeah, this is where it all started, basically. His whole world, back in his hometown of San Clemente, California, revolves around skating. What's your name, man? Noah. Noah, nice to meet you, dude. I like that board. He's even got his own personal skate park. <laughs> Maybe that was a little too fast. Can, right, I, can right. you hold my all hand? Right. Yeah. Push off. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Just why don't we do it like this, Ryan? This works this so is, much better. It's way easier. I like right, this. Turn. <laughs> An empire has been built on Ryan Shackler. He's helped transform this childhood fringe pastime into a billion dollar industry. How has skating as a business changed? Skateboarding as a business has changed dramatically. People are getting huge contracts now. Really? Like how much? Skateboarders are making millions of dollars. At first, it was thousands of dollars as an eight year old, a kid already becoming a brand. Do any of the guys kind of get upset that you're so young and you're beating them? Yes, I do. You get some dirty looks? Yeah, a lot. Like, just like, kids that are, are big guys, actually, that are just mad. Ryan's mother, Gretchen, has also been his manager from the very beginning. There's not one moment of worry that has ever given me one ounce of, of peace. Since I was a really little kid, I don't know many parents that would allow their son to break their arm at <laughs> three years old and continue to skate with the cast. 
Is it sometimes a little too close for comfort? No, not at all. Not for we me. worked it out. Yeah, we it, really have worked it, it before. out. Before it was a little hard when she called me to tell me to come home for dinner, but then tell me I had a business meeting the <laughs> next day, and it was like, well, who are you right now? I mean, she could be a good friend. Then the story of the like skating boy not? wonder became a TV show. I happened to be winning every contest, and they were all pro contests. So it was like this huge whirlwind of just craziness, and MTV wanted to be a part of it. The MTV show, Life of Ryan, brought him mainstream fame, but among skating peers, some labeled him a sellout. It was too much. Just this kind of weird vibe I was getting from other professional skateboarders. The dudes I look up to were kind of not too psyched on what I was doing. Did they feel like you were selling out the industry, maybe? I mean, yeah, but I'm one person, you know? Like, one person can't do, you know, can't destroy an activity that's purely supposed to be freedom anyways. Hey, Day of, here it comes. I feel good, I'm nervous for sure. I'm always nervous, but it's that like good energy, you know, I slept good, I feel good. The day of the X Games finals, in warm-ups, Ryan falls hard again. Trying to perfect that dangerous trick off the roof, but still, he musters that willpower to get back up. And the top six will be advancing to the final. He's in that group right now. Ryan makes advances to the final round with mom and girlfriend watching. And lands the trick off the roof, earning him a bronze medal. Thank you. We came home with a medal, so at the end of the day, it's a success, so I'm happy. You've always said that you want to be a legend in the skating world. Do you feel like you've made that? Do you feel like you've hit that mark? I don't know, I'm just a professional skateboarder that loves it, that absolutely loves it. Whether that's going for the biggest trick on the course or skating the fastest or, you know, sitting down and doing a three hour autograph signing. It's whatever, you know, it's whatever's clever at that moment. For Nightline, I'm Rachel Smith in Austin.